Hello, I'm here on behalf of InternetCameraHelp.com to help you with the Action Tech wireless router. It's brought to you usually from Verizon Fios. We're going to learn how to port forward your IP camera today. The first thing you want to do is log into your admin panel on your camera. Please feel free to pause this at any time to take notes. Sometimes the hardest part about logging into your router is remembering your username and password. This is the main frame when you log into your Verizon router. The first step is to choose firewall settings. Immediately after you choose firewall settings you'll see this screen. It's a warning screen you'll just want to proceed. Hit your yes button. On your general firewall settings screen, choose typical security, which is medium, and then choose port forwarding option on the left. On your port forwarding screen, you'll want to choose specify IP from the drop down menu that you're presented with. Don't worry about inserting an IP address just yet. We'll get to that. Next you'll want to choose Custom Ports. After that, on Source Ports and Destination Ports, choose Specify. You want to specify these port numbers. Now that we've got all these options open to us, we're going to fill in our correct IP address and our camera's port number in both port fields. And you can see at the lower part of the screen I have brought up the IP camera administration panel as a reference to make sure we enter the same uh, IP address and port number. After you're done, don't forget to hit the apply button on the menu. After you've pressed the apply button you should be brought back to the screen and you should now see below your IP address and port that you've successfully port forwarded. All routers are not the same but they have the same fundamental principles and you should be able to follow these directions to make it successful on any router. Next I open up my browser and I type in the IP address that I've just port forwarded 192.168.1.199 colon 1048 that's it it's all port forwarded for more video tutorials like this please go to the vault internetcamerahelp.com that's www.internetcamerahelp.com thank you